Avicenna was a Persian philosopher and scientist who lived from 980 to 1037 CE. He is widely regarded as one of the most influential thinkers of the medieval Islamic world, and also one of the greatest contributors to the fields of philosophy, medicine, logic, mathematics, astronomy, and theology. His works, especially his encyclopedic masterpiece, the Book of Healing, and his medical compendium, the Canon of Medicine, had a profound impact on the development of Western thought and science. Avicenna was born near Bukhara, in present-day Uzbekistan, and received a classical Islamic education. He was a prodigy who mastered the Quran, logic, and various sciences by the age of 16. He then turned to medicine, which he claimed to have learned easily and quickly. He became a renowned physician and cured the Sultan of Bukhara from a serious illness. He also served as a vizier, or minister, for several rulers, but his political career was turbulent and he often had to flee from enemies and persecutions. Before we continue, Please like this video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that we remain enthusiastic about making other videos. Avicenna was a prolific writer who composed over 450 books and treatises on various subjects. He was mainly influenced by Aristotle, whom he considered the greatest philosopher, but he also incorporated elements from other Greek, Persian, and Indian sources. He developed his own system of philosophy, which he called the Oriental philosophy, and which aimed to reconcile rationalism and mysticism. He also refined and expanded the concepts of Islamic theology, such as the nature of God, prophecy, and resurrection. Avicenna's most important work in philosophy is the Book of Healing which covers logic, natural sciences, psychology, metaphysics, and ethics. In this work, he presents his famous argument for the existence of God, based on the distinction between essence and existence. He argues that only God is the necessary existent, whose essence and existence are identical, while all other beings are contingent, whose existence depends on God's will. He also discusses the nature of the soul, the intellect, and the forms, which he regards as immaterial and eternal. Avicenna's most influential work in medicine is the Canon of Medicine, which is a comprehensive and systematic summary of the medical knowledge of his time. It covers the principles of medicine, the anatomy and physiology of the human body, the causes and symptoms of diseases, the diagnosis and treatment of illnesses, and the pharmacology and therapeutics of drugs. It also includes sections on hygiene, diet, surgery, cosmetics, and alchemy. The canon of medicine was based on the works of Hippocrates, Galen, and other ancient and Islamic physicians, but it also contained Avicenna's own observations and innovations. Avicenna's works were translated into Latin, Hebrew, and other languages, and became the main sources of learning for the scholars of the Western world. His philosophy influenced the medieval Christian thinkers, such as Thomas Aquinas, Albertus Magnus, and Duns Scotus, who adopted, modified, or criticized his arguments and concepts. His medicine was taught and practiced in the universities and hospitals of Europe for centuries, and was regarded as the authoritative standard until the Renaissance and the Scientific Revolution. His logic, mathematics, astronomy, and theology also had significant impacts on the development of various disciplines and fields in the West. Avicenna was a genius who bridged the gap between the East and the West, and between the ancient and the modern. He was a master of both rational and empirical sciences, and a pioneer of both philosophical and religious thought. He was a giant who shaped the Western world with his extraordinary works, and a legend who deserves to be remembered and honored as one of the greatest minds of all time. 
In conclusion, Avicenna's extraordinary works have left an indelible mark on the Western world. His synthesis of philosophy, medicine, and science, coupled with his dedication to rational inquiry, has shaped the trajectory of Western intellectual history. Avicenna's legacy endures as a testament to the power of cross-cultural exchange, intellectual synthesis, and the pursuit of knowledge that transcends temporal and spatial boundaries. His contributions remain an invaluable part of the intellectual heritage of humanity, influencing generations of scholars and thinkers in the Western world and beyond. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. See you in the next video. Thank you.